Hello, beautiful soul. I want you to know that this card reading has shown up in your feed for a reason. And this is a special message just for you. Hi everybody. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, I'm Shirley Harnish. Hi. And I'm the author of The Path of the Soul, Divine Guidance, and Return of Spirit Deck. I've also been an intuitive reader for about 13 years, and I teach intuition and spiritual topics. And I've actually, I've just released the first video in my Intuitive You series, which is on intuitive development. The link to that is down below in the video description, and I really suggest you check it out. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe because I have new videos coming out each week along with the pick of cards on intuitive development and other spiritual topics like manifesting and stuff like that. So there's, there's a lot happening here. Anyhow, uh, our topic for the week is, this is a message for you. And I thought we would just leave that open. I had this really strong feeling when I woke up this morning that this was going to be a special message. So I didn't want to confine it with, with a particular title. So it's just kind of open. So I'm going to ask that you guys settle into your heart. Settle into your chair. Take a few nice deep breaths and just really allow whatever the message is that comes through in your pile choice today to really hear and see um, where it is that spirit is guiding you and directing you. So, as I always say, however you want to pick your cards, you go right ahead and do that. There's no rules here. You can have one card reading, all three, whatever works for you. So, Pause if you need to, tune into what you need. This is pile number one, and we have new Buddhas today. This is our no hear Buddha. This is our no see Buddha. And this is our no speak Buddha. So I'll let you guys get sorted with your choice, and I'm going to get started with the readings. Hi, group number one. How are you? Okay. Let's see what the cards have in store for us. Uh, just so you know, all the, the links to all the cards, the information on where to get them and such are down below, as well as where to reach me for a personal reading if you would like a more in-depth insight into what's happening for you. All that information down below. Now, let's see what we have here. I'm going to lay these out. Maybe I'll go like this. Okay. So we have a few more cards than normal. And uh, I just thought that it would be nice to have a slightly more in-depth reading here. So... Right off the bat, I'm seeing, um, wow, okay. So we have intuition cards coming out, kind of have some renewal going on here. Um, I would say that for you guys in group number one, that there's, I'm just gonna start with this card here, just read it. So we have, Card number 38. This is the Intuitive Arts Guide, and that's from the Path of the Soul deck. Um, when the Intuitive Arts Guide comes up, that's when um, our path is kind of beginning to unfold. You know, we may be walking, or have been walking the spiritual path for a while, or you might be just brand new and kind of opening up to all this. But there's some sort of switch or energy that's happening that's kind of calling you to really step into your intuition in some way. And what's funny is, you know, these two cards are from the um, Path of the Soul deck, but these four are from the um, Divine Guidance deck. 
And here we have another card that's very similar to the Intuitive Arts Guide. And this is the Wisdom Guide card. <laughs> Excuse me. And this card, the, the Wisdom card, is about um, really honoring and listening to your intuition and using that information, you know, instead of poo-pooing that quiet voice, because our intuition does, it comes in quietly and gently to us. And it's really easy for us to like completely disregard it and go, no, 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 it's wrong. And you know, all the things that we do to ourselves when it, when it comes to intuition. But this is talking about gaining wisdom through your experiences and having these intuitive moments and really getting deeper into insight and you know and this is the impetus that it begins to really open us up in, to our deeper path and purpose and our spiritual calling so it this is very strong with these two cards now the other card that's sitting here that makes me feel like this is this is more than just oh you know you've had some hunches or you're just kind of sensitive or empathic this has a feeling that um intuitively that intuition is kind of the path or road that you could be really exploring as far as how to be in service in the world you know, and I, I say this often, there are many ways that we can use our intuition in a, in a job, as a career. So, you know, you could be a reader like this type of reading, but you can also do counseling and work very intuitively. The reason I'm saying this, that, that for you guys, that this is really coming on strong is because we have the vibrational card. Now when that one comes up, this to me looks like you guys as the soul and this huge beautiful energy just vibrating out of you. And the big meaning with this card is that sometimes we aren't always aware of the effect of who we are out there in the world we we tend to minimize ourselves and minimize um, the impact that we may have on other people but when the vibrational card comes up it's really pointing to the fact that you guys have more impact you get when you are connecting with other people you have the potential to make great changes in other people to really help them in their path with finding their own way and you know finding their own light and i want to remind you that a lot of the times what we are here to help people with is what we ourselves struggle with and learn and as we learn this we get these tools on our tool belts you like and then we are through our own experience are able to offer that to somebody else and help them with it and so I'm really getting this path and purpose kind of vibe with you guys. Now, with the Return of Spirit card here, I love this guy because to me that that is Phoenix energy. And with these pinks showing up in here, pinks, pinks and greens represent the heart chakra. And so, you know, when we're saying a return of spirit, it, it's like a return to your own heart. So it's almost like you, you kind of came along the path and you have been kind of hitting some dead ends, it feels. And it's almost like it's important you hit those dead ends so that you take a look around and see that there's some other well-paved paths ready for you guys to head down that involve your spirituality a little bit more, that are really congruent with your heart and your truth and living more to your greatness and to your potential and not allowing your mind to tell you otherwise because that's such a big thing here. 
So with that wisdom guide card, often it's talking about classes, courses, that sort of thing. So I feel for many of you, this might be um, a really good thing to look at is for developing your intuition, listening to your inner voice, or taking classes and courses on what you feel really drawn to that would incorporate your intuitive gifts in the work that you do. And don't let that inner voice tell you that you can't do it. It's so ridiculous that it that we allow that to hold us back because there's so much more to you than what you're experiencing right now as this soul masquerading around in this meat suit, right? Now, the other card that we have here, you guys have a master number 44 showing up here for you today. And this card is the Divine Guidance card. And just the, the title of the card, it goes right along with everything that I've been saying here with, with the cards that you have out. This is about Divine Guidance. And it's almost like you guys are being led down this path and I actually just said that with the other card so I really want to encourage you guys to listen to that that calling that's in the back of your mind that secret thing that you think about that you would really like to do but maybe don't believe in yourself yet and you think you're crazy and it's just you but you could never do it enough enough of that now we have both the commitment card and the union card showing up. And with both the commitment and union card showing up, uh, these cards are from the Return of Spirit deck and these ones have the titles on them, which a lot of people really like. Um, with both of those coming up, I, f I feel like it's not really talking about relationship here, union as in you know, two partners falling in love and doing that sort of thing. This union, to me, because of the nature of what's coming out and just the whole vibe of this reading, this union is talking about your personal connection to spirit. You making that personal connection to your guides, to your angels, to your higher self, really um, carving a pathway for your own connection, the way that you understand it, believe it and use it and making the commitment to really honor that calling that it is inside of you to use your gifts in this way in service to the world and making the commitment to follow through with you know taking any classes or courses or doing what you need to do and making the commitment that you will continue to do what you need to do and allow yourself the space to learn, which is so important. Allow yourself the space to learn. Now, okay, uh, which one do I wanna to go to? I feel like I need to go to this one first because with the fertile card here, this guy's come up a few times. Sometimes he's hard to see on camera, but he has, it, he looks like a little, a little sperm and these look like two eggs. And with the fertile card coming up here, it, it's what I was saying earlier, where it feels like your life has hit some roadblocks here and it's almost like the universe is directing you in a new direction. And to, you know, be brave, kind of be fearless and, and, and allow yourself to take that path and claim that choice because this road here has a lot to offer you with that fertile card there. It's just like for that seed to grow, you just need to water it and provide it some warmth and sunshine. Okay. Because this is definitely a solid something for you. Now, what I love are these two cards together is amazing. This is the celebration card and this is the gratitude card. And so with both of them coming up, it kind of, I feel like in one way, they're trying to um, abate your fears, um, you know, and reassure you that 
there are a lot of good things coming up. You know, these roadblocks that happen in our life, life can be crazy, right? But it's not about getting stuck at where the roadblock happens. It's about seeing it as this gift for you to turn your vision to another direction and take another path. And with that gratitude there, it feels to me like, you know, that practice of gratitude, part of what they're saying is to begin to look in a different direction in your life. Don't be focused on the hard times and the difficulties that you've been faced with lately. That it's that when you turn your turn your eyes and find a new perspective, just find the things that you are grateful for, even if it's only a few things you can think of, that it will begin to switch your energy. Doing gratitude switches your energy. It amps up your vibration, of course, but it also opens up your heart space in a way that you can be more allowing for yourself to come through here. And it really does help the universe to work with you as well. So as for a special message, I would say that the whole gist of this is you guys have a very beautiful gift and the universe is asking you to really embrace it and, sh and, and claim it and to share it with the world. It's, you can't hoard it anymore. Believe in yourself, you guys. Now, if you want a more in-depth personal reading, I am available and the information is down below. Please hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you guys again very soon. Much love. Hi, group number two. For those of you who chose our lovely No See Buddha, we'll put our little reading mask on over there. Okay, let's see what we have here. I'll move these over. So these are from the Path of the Soul deck. And we have Rebirth, Joyous, ooh, I love this one, Elemental, Earth Angel, Archangel Michael, hmm, you guys, hmm, I'm seeing a theme. Cellular healing. Knowledge card. Storm. Integrity. And voice. Okay. So, I would say that we have some earth angels here in our reading. Um, with that card showing up, you know, okay, so I'm going to start with this one because this is the one that's drawing me first. We have the storm card. And with that storm card, now I hope you can see it here, but there's all this static, chaotic kind of energy on the outside of this little circle here and that circle kind of represents you and what the storm card is about is you know when the ions build up in the air the thunder will roll and the lightning will come and it will strike and that clears out all those ions and once a storm passes it's like the air is crisp and it's fresh and it's beautiful. So I feel like, you know, you guys have been having, a, going through some, some storms of your own lately. And I know that it's, it's been difficult for, for many of you. Um, and I'm saying that not just because of the storm card, but because we have the rebirth card here. Now, sometimes this is hard to see, but it looks almost like this little fetus in utero and it's this fetus is like lit up with light inside this womb and with that 
I, there's a lot of creative energy that's happening in my hands as I'm holding this card. Um, but, you know, with that storm card saying it, there's been some tough things, tough times for you guys, and that rebirth card, um, that rebirth card usually comes when, when we kind of retreat, when we need to stay, take a step back. And especially with two angel cards showing up in your reading, that like the when you're the this beautiful gentle empathic soul where we can be very sensitive to the events and situations that happen around us we can be sensitive to the world and sometimes it is overwhelming and sometimes it's it's too much you know what's going on and other people's bs if you want to put it that way now with these two cards here it's kind of telling me that you guys have have taken a step back and it's not that you're in hiding you just need to make some space for yourself and i would say that's absolutely the best thing that you could do for yourself is to make some space um because there's something here for you guys that is about your healing and i feel like this isn't talking about um just relationship stuff this feels like there's a healing on so many levels and if you are not personally going through healing i would say that you have very strong healer energy because of these two earth angel cards and the nature of the reading so far this card is called cellular healing so i really feel like if you have been facing any sort of health challenges um, that you're, you're moving through this because the thing with a storm is it doesn't last and the storm itself is what's going to clear the air and, and in regards to your health it feels like there's a shift coming for you but if health issues are not what's on the plate for you right now I want you to see that um, there's some natural healing abilities that you guys have and that could be actual you know doing hands-on type of energy healing or reiki or any of those things but it also can be in the in the lines of um you know nursing mental health i mean there's so many avenues of healing here and it feels like the healer is going through their process of healing. I just said this in reading number one, to be able to offer that um, in service to others and help them through this same thing. Because you have both the Archangel Michael card and you have the Earth Angel card. And when the Earth Angel card comes up, it's kind of like saying, you know, you can't see them, but you have these beautiful, glorious wings. And you may not feel like you are worthy and deserving to wear them, but they're on, whether you feel you're worthy or not. And, you know, this, sometimes it's difficult for us to really embrace our greatness and to embrace the truth of who we are but that's just a part of the journey for everybody and I want you to know that it's okay to do this retreat when you go through these difficult times with Archangel Michael being there that that does point to you know maybe needing to sever or take space from particular relationships that that cause you upset that you know some not all relationships are roses and sunshine right and sometimes we need to take a step back and go into retreat and really revalue those relationships and and prioritize what's important and what you want in the world and what you don't but the other thing with the archangel michael card is archangel michael you know rules the the voice the throat chakra and not only do you have Archangel Michael, but you also have the voice card too. And I see these as like two vocal cords. 
and it's surrounded with this yellow and yellow is definitely like our solar plex chakra so there's a lot about you guys stepping into your truth and stepping into your power and claiming your voice and you know um, in one way it's like claiming your gifts as a healer and it, um sharing what you have with other people and by that i mean i'm getting there <laughs> Because that knowledge card has come out, you see how this looks like a, um, it's the crown chakra and it's like wide open and this looks like the outline of a person here. And this beautiful energy is pouring into the crown and out through the person. And that is talking about, you know, getting and receiving information, this wisdom, this knowledge, and sharing this with other people. It's sharing what you've accumulated with other people in the forms of your gift. So however your gift uh, forms out here in physical reality, whether that is healing, like it's healing in some capacity, I'm just not sure exactly what it is because this is a group reading um with that elemental card showing up there you know that's talking the elemental card is talking about because and especially because it kind of came out lying beside the rebirth card which is it's okay to take that retreat right now and you know when we spend time in nature i know in north america and in the upper part of the world it's winter so it's not always so fun to sit outside and meditate but if you can get outside and get your feet onto mother earth in some way even if it's in snow boots that's fine um but really connecting to the things that that help you feel strong in your spiritual path and especially crystals right like i, I need to say crystals definitely fall into that and if if you feel called to, if that resonates for you, I would strongly suggest even looking up some classes on physical healing and crystal work and that sort of thing, because there's something in it there for you guys. Now, with the integrity card showing up, in, in one way, that integrity card is saying to have integrity with yourself and to really honor that inner voice that, you know, that says this relationship isn't healthy for me right now and I know that I, I am this sensitive soul and I need to serve and be in service and to honor the, the those little ideas and nigglings that you may be getting around doing healing work or engaging in healing work in some way the other thing with that integrity card is as far as relationships go is that not everyone is operating within their highest integrity or highest within the mindset of the highest good for all involved and so you know it's okay to have some allowance for that I mean that's just the nature of the way that life is and I know that it can hurt a lot you know to have these situations happen outside of yourself but just know that it's important that you maintain your integrity throughout this situation retreat pull back don't engage that sort of thing so there's a twofold message coming with that integrity card but last and not least is your aha kind of card because this is the joyous card you guys and this guy i mean he it's so happy to me this and it looks like he's smiling and with all these pinks and greens coming out of him you know pinks and greens are the color of the heart chakra and it's really saying like this storm has passed or is passing, it will pass. It's like the reassurance. 
get on to the healing mentally, emotionally, physically, and doing healing work. Really claim your path. It's okay that you're sensitive. That's how you came here because that's a part of the work that you're here to do. But the things will shift for you so that you have, you come from that place of your heart and you're safe to give it out here in the world and that there is joy, love, and peace for you. There really is. If you would like a personal reading, I have my information down below and where to contact me, where to book a reading. Please do hit the like and subscribe because I have new videos coming out each week. You guys had a really powerful reading. I am honored to be a part of delivering this message to you. I wish you guys much love and I'll see you again next week. Hi, group number three. This is our no speak Buddha. He's super cute. He's our reading mascot, so we'll just put him over here. Now, let's see what we have here, okay? I'm just going to tell you right now, this is a relationship reading because the very first card that I look at is Companion's Love. We have Shenrizi. That's a big manifestation card. These two are from the Path of the Soul deck, just so you know. Okay, we have the right card. Lilac Flame. Caretaker. Right Order. Oh, okay, you guys are definitely working out some hurts here as far as relationship and I would say that this is more than likely a personal relationship that may not have been as healthy and as uh, balanced as you had hoped it would be this is the um, the awakening card blossoming card Wow Okay, Astral Realms, I think this one came out last week, and Reflections. So I have to say, you have two really powerful cards that are talking about you guys going through this process. You know, one of the gifts that happen in being in relationship is it's, um, it is what spurs us to our own awakening through our relationship with other people because that these relationships mirror to us what lives inside of us, what lives inside of our psyche, our hearts, our minds. And these relationships that really hurt us and really break our hearts, you know, these are the greatest gifts ultimately in the end. And with this card, the reflections card um to me that this looks like a wall and it this wall is reflected in this waterfall and it's just pouring out and with that with that i mean it in one regard it's talking about taking a step back and taking a look within ourselves to like i said to see what lives inside us and begin to address these issues address these old beliefs from childhood uh, you know how we came to perceive and believe out what our value is and what our worth is and often most often what we perceive our value and worth to be or what the our subconscious tells that it as it is from our past is not the truth and it's about really taking the time to go within, go and do the shadow work that needs to, that's required to really bring this to the forefront and to heal it. Because we have the Violet Flame card here, we have a, a card of healing. And the Violet Flame card, although it can often refer to physical healing, in this case, you guys, I really feel like it's talking about like a restoration of your emotional body, a restoration of your mental body. Because when I'm sitting in this energy, 
Um, I feel almost exhausted from this, whatever's been going on in your intimate relationships. And, you know, um, whether that is with your partner or, you know, person who should, should be a partner and, and is just a friends with benefits kind of thing and you can't get hooked in, you know, it feels like there's some abandonment issues running through this reading and it's really quite strong. Um, if you don't resonate with that, I just suggest that you um, go back and choose a different reading because there is a reading here for you. I'm feeling called to say that. I never say that in my videos. Um, anyhow, uh, there's a lot of healing. So with that reflections card, that is about retreating, but it's not about retreating right back and, and you know, cutting everything off and disengaging the world. I mean, you may need to do that to some degree for your own mental health and emotional stability. But what this is more talking about is taking the time when you have free time to really begin doing the inner work on yourself because you're being called to do the personal growth work. Like now's the time you've, you've hit this and hit it and hit it. And you know, it's time to get this and this taken care of and with that violet flame card I say this often when this guy shows up there is a bat in this energy and when the bat shows up that is change is coming and I really want to reassure you guys because the right order card is here and it's like you know sometimes it's like the chaos theory Things look chaotic on the outside. You have these this tumultuous relationship or a relationship that has caused a lot of difficulty and it looks like things are a mess, but there is order within this chaos and it, that's what the right order card is talking about. That through this, it's happening for a reason and for a purpose to get you back on your path, back focused on you. You know, we also have the caretaker card showing up. And caretaker card is a lot about disengaging from toxic relationships. The caretaker card is about learning how to set boundaries for ourselves to say, you know what, this is what I deserve in life. This is my value. And I'm only letting people in who treat me with the respect, love and care and concern that I deserve. And the same care, love, and respect that I so freely give to everyone else, right? And it's about learning how to set healthy boundaries, learning how to say, no, you can't do this to me anymore. And also setting a boundary with yourself that you, that you begin to love yourself enough to not allow yourself to come back to that same situation over and over and over, right? Now the other thing with the caretaker card is that oftentimes we tend to be these givers, right? That's why it's called caretaker, that we give out here in the world and somehow we feel like our value is attached to that. So if I give to everybody, maybe everybody will see that I'm valuable. And when somebody says, oh, here, let me help you. Let, let me do this for you. You're like, oh, no, 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 no. It's okay. I, I, no, no. Because we don't see our value and know that it, we are just as worthy of receiving. So there's a restoration that needs to happen here as far as returning a healthy balance and, and self-love. Again, through doing the shadow work, the healing work going to the past, beginning to clean up this old stuff in your perceptions of yourself. The other thing is, is that there are good people in your life, you guys, who are willing to give to you and love you and support you, whether they're your best friends or whoever they are. I, it's a general reading, so I can't, I can't pull specific people out for you. Um, but with that caretaker card, it's just as important that you allow people to give to you because you know how good it is, how good it feels to give, right? And you need to give that gift of allowing other people to give 
to have to allow them to feel that feeling that beautiful feeling so the biggest message i feel here is about making this big shift with this stuff you guys and then we have like all these power cards coming out which is you have both the blossoming and oh sorry the blossoming and the awakening card and it's like both of these are they look like these flowers opening and it's almost like it's time now it's time to open up to all of these things these human <laughs> humanness i was going to use a bad word but i won't <laughs> bs all this human bs right start to deal with that because there's it's about making space and allowing yourself to really blossom and be out here in the world like there's something else that's happening for you guys and it's opening you up to a sense of your higher self a sense of your true self with that astral realms card there that tells me that through this process of healing it's really about making a stronger connection to your guides to your angels to um, whether you want to connect to loved ones who have passed over there's something here about making a stronger connection within the realm of spirit so that you feel that support here and you have that guidance that you need because you guys with these two are really opening up to your spiritual path now you've been through the mill right you've <laughs> been downtrodden and now it's like this new fresh wave going into um, your path, your purpose and opening up to even like even your sense of love, self-love and unconditional love. Um, with the right card being there, I, I really feel strongly that there's something important, valuable about getting journaling and that I, you know, if you guys aren't into writing, if some of you aren't, the reason I say that is because what I'm feeling with this card is that there's lessons to be learned as you write out your process of what's going on, what you're working through in healing, that it will be a valuable tool to come back to, to be able to go, oh my gosh, you know, in a year from now, be able to read this and go, that's where I was. And look at me now, right? Because it's really hard to see our progress in the moment as each day passes. But when we journal over a year and step back and look, we're like, holy crap, <laughs> look how much I've grown. Thank God, right? Now, I've saved the best for last because this card, Shen Rizzi, he's a Buddhist deity, actually. And Shen Rizzi is all about manifesting. Shen Rizzi is about getting your mind, beliefs, perceptions, and thoughts in order and manifesting, consciously manifesting who and what you want. And what I found funny is that when I laid these cards out, it's companion's love. And this, to me, tells me that this journey that you guys are embarking on of really cleaning house in here and here and getting yourself going through this healing process is vital because it really does set your mind, perception, thoughts, and beliefs about yourself, the world, relationships, all of it into that order so that you will be manifesting a relationship that is healthy. I need to say that and that's sooner rather than later and this is a relationship that supports you spiritually emotionally mentally physically a healthy relationship like this is very beautiful you guys I'm I'm wow so this is a general reading if you would like a personal reading you can find the info um, for personal readings down below Please hit the like and subscribe because I have lots of new videos coming out and I wish you guys so much love. Stay strong. You're getting through this bigger, beautiful, better than ever. Okay? I wish you much love. I will see you soon.